Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Diablo 3. And on this episode, uh, I know we kind of left you guys on a cliffhanger. I got Dark Dragon here with me. Dark Dragon playing Vir uh, Virala the Witch Doctor. And we also have Fox with us. What's up? I'm playing Respucia. And as I was saying, we kind of left you on a cliffhanger. We have Diablo up here, which is going to be a pretty tough enemy, right? Uh... Well, as people have already seen, we're a little bit overpowered. Well, maybe maybe not for us, but I mean, he's he's a pretty tough enemy in general, right? When you get here the first time? Yeah, because uh, this is how it goes. Uh, you fight Diablo, you beat Diablo down a little bit, and then you get transported to the Shadow Realm. In the Shadow Realm, you have to fight Diablo's shadow and shadows of yourself. And here's a nifty little thing that they added into the game. Your shadows actually get the paragon points of the people. So the stronger you are, the stronger they are. Uh, that's pretty cool. So this used to be the end of the game, right? Until they added some uh, expansions? Uh, yeah. One expansion, yes. One expansion. Okay, so I guess let's, uh, let's go ahead and go inside and see what this guy looks like. <laughs> oh, it's not necessarily Diablo. It's Diablo the Prime Evil. Right, right. We have to remember that. But yeah, still, he, all the prime. He, sh he should be harder than the last Diablo, and the last Diablo was pretty freaking tough, so... I don't know. You yeah. guys are probably going to wipe the floor with him in like two hits, but normally he probably would be <laughs> just an epic fight. Just be prepared to go to the Shadow Round real quick. <laughs> the Seven Evils are Oh yeah, this guy's a pushover. Look at him dying. Jeez. Shadow Realm. Don't you like it how the bad guys can always just end the fight whenever they feel like it? Like you're just there for their amusement. You know, they're just like enough and like they stop taking damage all together and teleport you someplace else to play there. And then they come back with like full life and some like new get up or something. It's like they're playing with you. Like you're the you're the special guy, you know, <laughs> the one they're just bringing into their world. <laughs> I hit him once, he almost died. Did you hit him too? Mm-hmm. Okay, I was I was about to be like, seriously, I literally just... Come here, I need to sneeze, thank you. You, come here, I need to sneeze, thank you. I'm just shooting. Stay together, because Diablo will spawn randomly. Oh, there he is, right there. Dead. Oh, Dead. my God. He almost got us. You see those little spike things up? He would have caught us. And I'm this like, is yeah. actually still a difficult fight. We're just way overpowered for the level we're playing it on. Get yeah, it. All that you have known, all that you have ever loved, shall die, die along with, with you. you. Never mind. See, he's that strong, but yeah, we just like overpower and kill him. Yeah, I think there's. it was supposed to be the other way around when you're actually fighting him for the first time. Yeah, I'm standing in his fire. I'm not even taking damage. Where am I? I can't even tell. Do I heal that much? Jeez, is this guy's still alive? No, he has a very long death scene. It's literally like, oh, oh, falling. <laughs> it's kind of like uh, Pee Wee Herman in uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah. 12 minutes later. Ah, oh. <laughs> I love that scene. <laughs> and I hate Pete Wee Herman, go figure. Well, I mean, you know, I, I can't say I hate the guy. Oh, was that for everybody? All the stuff we picked up? I, I just dropped the gems, but hey, look at what I just got. Another Nago ring. Oh, I didn't know that was group loot. I thought that was... No, you didn't. Come on. Ah, I'll have to drop all that stuff when we get back to town. If you seriously I got another go one, it's just gonna be wow. Before we go and talk to this guy to go to the next one, we should go to town. Yeah. So what did you guys get? Uh, I got a nagel ring. Another one. Nagel rings are amazing. I got a legendary chest 
Armor Chang Mao. Hey. Oh, Chang Mao? What the? Stop being racist. It says Chang Mao. How <laughs> are you supposed Just to read that? Stop being racist. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's better than what I'm wearing, but. Let's see if I can figure out how to link this again. Was it shift click, right? Yeah, there you go. Yes. Ah, that's pretty good, right? Wow. Yeah. 1.7 out of 2 freeze? 290 oh, intelligence out of 299 resource cooldown. Yeah. Mass confusion. Which you, you can reroll that mass confusion for a socket, and that'll be a really nice weapon. Until you're 70. Right, yeah, and then that's we're gonna pretty go. much everything you have is uh, useless. Yeah, that that's the thing. As soon as you hit 70, it's like you're starting all over again. Okay, so who are we uh, turning this quest into? Uh, um, we're not, but we're selling and everything before we go into the next town. Right. I'm saying, like, when we go over there to talk to him, uh, who is he exactly? Material. And we're going to tell him we defeated Diablo? Is there going to be a little twist on the end now that they have a new expansion? That you'll see as soon as we talk. Oh, it's not Tyrael, it's Aurel. Sorry. So many angel names. Did it used to but, be a different ending? Has it no. changed? No. Oh, okay. So they just kept the, the same ending and just created, like, a second story that goes on after that. Yeah, it's okay. You finish this now. Oh crap! This happened. Right. Yeah, Which I actually like that. Got some new goods. Because whenever they try to change it to add in more, it always kind of doesn't flow the same. Right. You know what I mean? But uh, the reason why I had to stop here is I wanted to point out at this moment before you talk to the angel is when you can go through talk to all the henchmen standing here talk to all the people in town and get your achievement for doing so because uh... you get all of your conversations that you can talk with them about right so i just wanted to point that out okay. yeah we'll definitely do that on, a, on another playthrough i don't want to have to go through every single one of them right now but, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of interesting to know that they all have different conversations you can get from them. I do kind of wish that they would force you to do it throughout the levels and actually stop and take a break. Because in some games that I've played, if you don't stop every so often to talk to somebody, they'll eventually bypass that conversation set. And you'll just miss out on finding out that part of the story. And, indeed, they may not talk to you in the future with the next set that they could talk to you because you missed that, that second or that third set that you were supposed to get in that order. Some things you do miss out if you don't talk to them during the storyline. Oh, okay, so they did do that then. Like it, those books that we got in the beginning, right? that we stopped getting, we didn't get all of those. Yeah, there was uh, quite a few little things that we kind of missed along the way, but we'll definitely get them along one of the playthroughs that we do. And you guys are talking about eventually, maybe tonight, getting to level 70. Uh, what's the first thing you guys want to try when we get there? Nagor. Greed. That isn't even a question. It's just straight up Nagel Ring. No, it's not Nagel Ring. It's the Puzzle Ring. Oh. Well, I, don't, I don't even know why I just kept thinking of a Nagel Ring. That's for the minions. Never mind. Yes. Puzzle Ring. Puzzle Ring. Yes. You guys ready to talk to him? Wait. Hold on. I put the wrong ring back in the... Dang it. I got the new Nago ring. I re-rolled it and then put the wrong one into my stash. <laughs> Oops. How filled is your stash right now? You have any space left in there or do you find that you're running out quite a bit? I have like seven uh, left. Pretty All much I salvage left. almost everything. I add them. If I'm not gonna use it now or on another character that I have, so I throw it in a stash to transfer it, I salvage it. Except uh, now that I read some of the patch notes for 2.4, they're coming in with set trials. So pieces of gear that you get six pieces for, they're actually going to have trials. And the way to do the trial is you have to wear all six pieces of that set. And then you're able to enter the trial and you have to see how far you can get in it. Right. Okay, I guess 
rewards. Let's go ahead and talk to this one over here. You can skip fast forward with space bar or totally skip it with escape. I'm leaving it totally up to you. Good stat. <laughs> there we go, guys. Now we get to move on to the next act. Now this is the expansion, right? This is where this one would start? Yeah. In the end. Well, actually, this is the end of heart the original. That saved two this uh, from video ruin. was at least. And cast down Such the crying a evil. Forever. Looks like it's singing while it falls. I mean, look at it. It looks like a movie. It's very well done. They had to. They took 10 years to release it and everybody's flipped. Well, it looked like a piece of them survived. That was the, uh, a new day the stone for both angels where all the primevals were men. kept captive. For mankind's greatest champion, the Nephilim, rose to confront the dark. What is everything that getting fixed? In mm -hmm. our pride. But like that, really? That's face. the light of God. God can do whatever God wants to do. Alright, that's true. I will take my place among you once again. But this time, I want those stairs. As a mortal, I want those wings. Since justice has been met this day, I will now stand as what wisdom. Wings? On behalf of the those angels who risked all to save us. Forevermore, we shall stand together, angels and men, in the light of this glorious new My question dawn. is, where was God when Diablo was destroying? My question Infect. is, who was he posing for? Like, that guy walked to the doors that just swung open with the sun, turned dramatically towards the wall, and stared at nobody. Like, nobody was in that room except for us watching through a magical camera. So who was he posing for? That was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. He was posing that for us. Come on. That, that wasn't the sun. That's God. There was no peace. But it was not to be. Told you. These will survive. For Diablo's essence well, lingers that's the soul in the black soul stone. That's not Diablo. It don't matter. As long as it's the peace, it's the peace. I cannot destroy that's how they always bring it back. Jurassic Park was a little can in the ground. Allow its yep. to remain a little can in the ground? What? Yeah, don't that's you remember they had the, the DNA inside that uh, shaving cream? Uh, oh, yeah, that's angels. right. You know, they always leave something behind so they know they have a way in if they're going to make a sequel or, or whatever, you know? That it will be that is true. enough. I want that stone. I'd carve a hole in my chest and shove it in. And be the prime yeah. dragon? Well, you wouldn't be. You would just be morphed into something else that took you over completely. Like, you would just be dip gone, but I don't mind. You'd be Diablo. No, Diablo would be Diablo. He just takes over, like, the the mass that's there, which is your body. You know, like, it's, there's nothing left of you. You have done well, Horadrum. I don't Your mind service being here is finished. All good. <laughs> you should all. Remember, guys, if you want to hear the uninterrupted version of these uh, cinematics, we will be doing that later on as well. But uh, this is just the playthrough we're going through where we talk over the stuff. And, uh, you know, we throw in our little oh, tidbits fair. where it's funny, where we think it is, anyways. Who is that supposed to be? That's Malfail. It's the angel of death. I would 
figured the angel of death wouldn't have to resort to things like this. Shouldn't he just like walk into the room and everything die? Well, they have magical powers, so he has to overcome their magic first. But he's the angel of death, like he knows every form of death out there. In fact, he's death incarnated. So wouldn't just his presence yeah, alone good. kill everything? Yeah. That would suck, being pulled into him. Don't you wish you stayed immortal? Brother... Why? Now that's one homie I would love to be. Benevolent will stop you. No one can stop death. My question is what happened to the stone? Was he absorbing or something? Yeah. Huh. Was he? See. They didn't really explain it too well right there. How it went was... Oh, oh, hold on. Are you talking? Don't matter. Okay. Um, now Thale this is just sick and tired of, of the war between heaven and hell. Have come to and he thinks that the only way for there to be peace the city is to wars. get rid of the Nephilim, which is us. I will find the truth of why they have come. But first, I because we write balance, these because everything is a balance so between the good and evil. Find peace but with humans the or the Nephilim, land. we can go whatever we want. So we're unbalancing that that balancing act that they're doing. So he just wants to get rid of us to end the eternal conflict. So in his mind, he's doing right. Yes. Right. Yeah. Anybody. They can justify anything to yourself if you want to, but yeah, it's it's kind of a weird, weird story. But I thought the cinematic was beautiful. They do a you know, oh, incredible great. work on oh, that. Yeah. That's one thing Diablo is definitely known for is beautiful I wish, cinematics. I, I honestly wish they made a movie. I would actually watch it. Right? I'd be like, wow, movie it up. Yeah, I've seen they actually combine like the cinematics. And put them all together in one little video and put that up on YouTube so you can watch that. It's almost like a movie in some of these video games that do it just right. Uh, other ones, you're missing some little details of what happened in the level. But uh, There's other ones out there like the Command & Conquer one. I watched that one. That one was really well done. Beautiful cinematics. Uh, they told the story quite well. And the acting wasn't that bad considering it was CGI. And as far as I could tell, there weren't any big actors in it. Right. Can you guys think of one video game that uh, you remember the most with actors that uh, just seem to do the voices uh, incredibly well, whether they were well known or, or a complete? Um, to be honest, I think all games do a pretty good job. But there are some that just kind of stand out a little bit above the rest. Like Diablo, definitely. They, they put everything into it. I don't even know. This is the only one I've known that I, like, really enjoy. Right. So then this is the, the one that stands out for you. Yeah, I actually, every time the cinematic's on, I like watching. I yeah. can't skip it. I just can't. Yeah, for me, I think it would probably be uh, Mass Effect. I mean, this one's beautiful, oh, and I love the cinematics, but Mass Effect's voice acting was just every part of the game. Every time you went up to an enemy, every time you went up to a, an NPC, everybody voice acted. Uh, for every part of that game. It was just amazing. And they made three of those guys. So if you have not played those before, I would highly recommend going over there and checking them out. But again, uh, it's a completely different game from Diablo. So. Make sure to hit this merchant right here and repair. 
not like Fox will need it. He's naked. Yeah. Well, I'm not completely naked. I have a chest piece and some like bracers and. I'm not totally naked. I have a bow. Yeah. Keep moving. Means I'm not naked. Come on. It covers everything. No. No. With demon blood must die. I see no demons here. <laughs> so how hard are these guys? I keep having to ask that question because you guys annihilated so quickly, but when you got here the very first time, was this a difficult area? Nah. You just gotta take it a little slow. You gotta what? You just gotta take it a little slow. You can't just run into everything like we're doing. Oh, okay. So they are pretty tough then. Even at your level that you would normally get here, it's gonna give you a little bit of, a little bit of setback. You gotta slow it down a little bit more. Yeah, Diablo scales with your character, so... Yeah, but even with that said, there's some enemies that we've come across that just seem to be harder than others. You know, they hit you with ranged weapons, they slow you, they stun you, whatever the case may be. They just seem a little bit more difficult than the other ones. And so yeah, that's what I'm, I'm getting at with these. Are these the difficult ones, or are these pretty much just the, the run and, and blow stuff up in front of their face and they don't really do too much to you? These are trash mobs. Now you guys were fighting earlier tonight with your mains. What were you guys doing? Uh, actually, we were on our alts, which were our monks. I was showing him the monk build that I came across a couple days ago. That's really retarded. I mean, it's like so overpowered compared to my mains build. I'm actually thinking of switching my main over to monk. Well, how do you choose who your main is? It's just who you're feeling like playing that day, right? Yeah, it's just whoever you play the most. Oh my god, that wasn't even fair. Come on. Yeah, the dude didn't even have a chance. He I just didn't slow the Nephilim down. I was gonna say, I didn't even get a hit on that one. That was crazy. I don't even think I hit him either. I sneezed on him. I got you dead. Yeah, you guys are a little OP. Can't wait until we can up the skill. I think once we completed Act 4, we're allowed to up the skill. So we could actually... Uh, when we end the episode, exit out and see if maybe we can uh, jump it up a couple torments or something. Yeah. That'd be interesting. At least it won't be so easy. Right. In fact, we can actually go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, uh, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe. Definitely helps grow the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Uh, make sure to also leave those comments down below because I want to know what you guys think of the, the game so far and uh, what you guys want to see in the future. Again, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and we will catch you guys next time.